I'm uh, Mark, and I'm here to uh, talk about uh, side bowling here with you today. And um, and I, I I got a question for all of you though. Um, have you ever been uh, side bullied uh, once in your lifetime over the internet or like uh, through a text message? Anyone? Been bullied in general? Well, side bowling. Mm. No, I guess so. He's like me, the legends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. They RuneScape and you're under level. They kind of um, yeah. They call you noob and such. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oops. I guess that counts as like one way of uh, sort of cyber bullying, though. Even though it's um, just like joking with friends or if it's serious or not, though. But has anyone been seriously cyber bullied? Like constantly uh, being attacked on? Uh, harass. No. No. Mm. Harass. No. Uh -huh. uh, okay. It usually lasts about three hours, and you get over it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> like people, so like some people can uh, get over it really quickly though, but some people like um, just they just impacted them so much though. And according to like a, um, a statistic from Dr. Hindua and Dr. Uh, Patchen's uh, research summary for the cyberbullying cyber bullying, uh, research center, cyberbullying can influence how much an individual can focus on academics, family matters, responsibilities and uh, pro social choices to some extent. Has uh, anyone ever uh, felt that way? Like, even a little bit. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah? Sure, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit? Not yeah. too much? You got it. <laughs> uh, there's always those uh, people, though, who uh, can't let go of, like, stuff that happened to them over the internet when mm -hmm. they started bullied. Mm -hmm. And that could be a major problem, though, that we can't ignore. And plus, like, I think that raising awareness and supporting laws that help prevent it are one of the few things that people can do to help prevent cyberbullying bullying and, and help and then, um, help keep the internet to be a safe community for everyone. Anyways, <coughs> one of the ways to uh, prevent cyberbullying bullying is by supporting laws that give schools and law enforcement more authority over the problem. For example, though, like there's this um, California bill called uh, California's AB 86 Assembly Bill, and it gives school and law enforcement the authority to get involved with a student who's getting sucked bullied by another student. And I think this is a really uh, good law though that was passed. It was passed on uh, January 1, 2009. And it was, um, and it was proposed by uh, Ted uh, Liu, who used to be a part of the assembly, but now he's a senator of California. And this is like a really good example to, of how we can um, help prevent a cyberbullying by supporting these kind of laws. I mean, like, it, <coughs> in California, though, we already have this law still, but there's also other states which doesn't have this kind of law that helps, that helps prevent cyberbullying. <coughs> and also, it's, I, I did some research, too, though, which is kind of interesting. So I got a question, though, like, um, for everyone, though, like, when do you, when do you all go on, inter when do you all go on the internet, though? Do you usually find something offensive or menacing, though? Like, do you see other people do to each other or ever experience it? Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, for people, I've yeah. noticed a lot of it comes from people who open themselves up to it, though. But, like, people who get forms bring in a lot of anonymous things. Like, they, I feel like it's almost welcoming it. Like, they want that kind of attention. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's not for everybody, but... It isn't. Yeah. I see it but there's a lot of people who do that, yeah, too. there's, like, a lot of people who, like, announce it, but, like, don't state a name, but they, like... They're like they're calling someone out through the internet, but won't state their name exactly. Oh, yeah. you know, they like they're trying to call for attention nice. somehow. Like they're too scared to like reveal names or you know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know what I, I mean? think a lot of the cyberbullying bullying comes out of people who like yeah. who have it's the ability like to be anonymous or like under a different name. Target people. Yeah. Like, new names without the cause like that kind of attention. But when there's accountability, I think it's a lot less. Well, mm -hmm. I believe yeah. like uh, when in high school when I was playing Xbox Live at like the wee hours of the night, like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Some European players come online and they hate Americans. It's like most of the people that play that are European, they express a really large dislike for, for Americans. Well, I'll say that to your face too. Uh, That's not really yeah. all I think. Yeah, but then, <laughs> then what I think part of it is also is that they're like, if you look at like their score and everything, like let's say they have 26 kills and two deaths, which is really good. They, their ego is really boosted, and they're like, oh, you're <coughs> trash. I'm a really quiet player, and I actually play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I play Xbox Live and everything like that, but then, uh... People get really intense. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like, I believe they're just, 
because they're over the internet, they got they're guarded by this. Big and they know that you can't find them. them. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah that's just a dumb thing. And uh, yeah. I feel like most of the people that do online bullying anyway are just like yeah. they don't they, they, have any any yeah. real power. They in their uh, life, so because they don't really have an ego. To yeah. And just imagine if they said all that stuff though in uh, person though to that other person. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Would he act it differently or no? That's the thing, they wouldn't say it in person because they're cowards. Yeah, no, I, I could be mean though, like that view mm -hmm. of uh, anomaly, just mm -hmm. like, it gives them a sense of power to, to yeah. make them think that they can do all these things, yeah. even though, they even even though like it can impact someone so much. But I know like there's also people who don't, get, who don't make a big deal about it, but, yeah, but there's also like, people that exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems like internet brings out the worst of people, though, in a way. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it also gets contagious because it turns people into them, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And it just keeps on her And there's and really her. no way to fight it besides ignoring it for the most part, yeah, because exactly. if you say anything, they'll just like, you'll just yeah. buying into their trolling, so. Yeah. You just become one of them yeah. if you yeah. say something yeah. back. So. If you try to, it's pointless to argue on the internet because there's always something that they can say. Is, like, yeah. you guys so. care about it. I guess people like still personalities. They'll yeah. act differently when they're out in the public, but cyberly, they're yeah. like a totally yeah. different yeah. person, you know? I, I can see it as a way, though, to at least like, mm -hmm. stress and tension, though, but it isn't yeah. healthy for both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, both the attacker and the other thing. Like, some people forget, you know, you're still talking to a human being. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Like, what if that person is con contemplating, uh, contemplating a suicide? And, like, mm -hmm. that little, um, that little comment, though, that's just uh, going against mm -hmm. them, just, make, just pushes them over the edge, mm -hmm. and then they just kill themselves because of that. Yeah, it's because, like, you know, you don't really know a person these days, honestly. Yeah, when you say something, it might hurt them, because you just don't know the person. You don't, don't know if they've been through something in the past. Cool. Yeah. Um, what do you think, um, is the parents' responsibility in cyberbullying? Do you think that it's it is their responsibility to monitor their kids' um, internet use and kind of like manage that, or do you do you think it's something that really needs to be taken to legislation, or is it both? I say it's both, though. Yeah. Like, anything that's posted on Facebook or mm -hmm. like MySpace is basically public, though, so yeah. anyone can see that, even parents. So, so like they mm -hmm. have a right in that, though, to monitor like something they do. Mm -hmm. Something their kids do on Facebook, unless it's like a p personal message, though, that's just going to into the kids' privacy. But if it's just posted on someone's wall, mm -hmm. or just like a status, just like calling someone out online, mm -hmm. I think the parents have a right to see that because it's public. Right. And with the legislature, though, like if it ever gets it, it does get that bad though for uh, some uh, people, and it does feel like it does feel like that you need to go to the legislature for that kind of stuff. Because. The reason I'm asking is because since um, this is such a serious thing that can and private messages you can't really you can't really manage if you're a parent so if you can't see it and you can't really force your kids to show you that. Do you think it's important that minors have more restrictions? Do you think that should be a thing that minors have more restrictions on the internet? Like if you're under 18, you can't be responsible for yourself basically. Mm. that they shouldn't even have private messaging because if it just really makes them sus susceptible like, to bullying, like, like, like how do you fix that? You're dumb. You're watching. No, you're dumb. There's also, you're also another watching. thing. There's also another thing that uh, parents should do about... They should like try to connect with their kids early on though and develop like a sense of trust between both the kids and the parents. So the kids, so the uh, kids will feel more comfortable with sharing things with the parents. So it's like keeping communication open, then that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. like, I agree though. Like, there's like a certain <laughs> age where the kids should be responsible not to use internet though. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's all up to debate though for parents. Yeah, because it's kind of really arbitrary <laughs> that everybody kind of picks 13 as the age that you're allowed to go on the internet. Yeah. Like, you need to be 13 in order to access this website. Well, why? Like, does 13 make you better able to deal with? Yeah. Online content, like no. So nah. you need to pass this test. Really yeah, hard. exactly. <laughs> <We're working. laughs> but I mean, like, I think it's important to educate the parents as well as the kids on coping mechanisms and like communication and stuff. Yeah, like I agree with that. So. I don't think age really matters in my opinion, though. But I say like a sense of maturity. Yeah, definitely. Have in totally. order to access internet and such, and how to be responsible. Right. Cool. And how to act.